Hello and thank you for joining us this week here on What's the Story. Right now I'm here with uh, two of the guys from uh, the band Dash Rip Rock. The, man, the men, the myths, the legends. So guys, go ahead and tell I us. I you saw our movie. So go ahead and uh, tell us who you are Bill and what Davis, you do. I directed the movie Dash Rip Rock, the band, the myth, the legend. And I'm Kyle Malonso. I'm a Sagittarius and I like a woman who let me be me. Okay, so uh, right now you guys are on tour for your uh, brand new, uh, well I guess it's not brand new, but your, uh, your latest uh, LP. Yeah, uh, August. It was released in August. Pay Dirt. So uh, go ahead and uh, tell me what, how's this tour has been for you and uh, how you guys are supporting this so, new record. Man, all, our all our dates have been canceled. Uh, we've been following around the guy, Glenn Phillips from Toe the Wet Sprocket, is, is a stalker. He's been stalking me. I'm going to kill that guy because he runs around barefoot and he's my stalker. Glenn Phillips, Toe the Wet Sprocket, leave me alone, man! I'm just kidding. This is like a, this, this is like a wrestling, wrestling interview. I feel like Mean Gene Okerlund. Um, yeah, yeah. No, um, it, it's been pretty good. We had a great night in Anaheim. We had a super night in San Diego. We had an all-star jam session with Southern Culture on the Skids, okay. the Rugburns, and the Beat Farmers. Great. So, yeah, the West Coast is um, – we, we only get out here, like, every two years. And when we do, everything we've saved up, we just expanded. Up, we, you know, we exploded upon the West Coast, and it's, so it's really fun. It's just amazing because we stay in the South all the time. We're from New Orleans. All right, so this is, um, this is your seventh record. Is that correct? Eight. This is eighth. your eighth record. Yeah. Okay. You one. What'd you miss? I don't the know. The gold record. I bet you missed the gold record. It didn't sell well. The gold record. So um. Get, get Save for the irony. Okay. So uh, so how have you guys seen um the band itself change over the past seven years, uh, or just or seven albums? Just just kind of quick. Well, we've uh, we've Popped on a lot of trends. Yeah, we we've gotten we've we've had a hit song. Let's go smoke some pot. And then now we've had we have kind of a decent record that's good. We just I don't know. We we're a party band. We're a bar band. We're uh, better than NRBQ. <laughs> we're faster than Reverend Horton Heat. Better looking than Southern Culture on the Skids. Uh, I don't know. We're a Southern bar band, so it's it's hard to improve upon that. That's that's the zenith of everything we've worked for is to be a Southern <laughs> bar band. All right. So you you mentioned the uh, the hit single uh, "Let's Go Smoke Some Pot," which is actually one of the first videos that I ever played on my show. Cool. Um, Whoa. But um. But uh, no, uh, what I was going to ask you about that is um, how, uh, oh, I don't know why, but for some reason I forgot what I was going to ask you about that. But I'll just throw this in there. Because you smoke too much pot. You no, forgot. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Um, so how have you guys uh, are dealt with the people now labeling you guys as a, as a pot band? A pot band? A stoner band. Oh, it's really yeah, easy. easy. Yeah, because there's, there's, because all our songs last two minutes. We don't play any extended instrumental leads like Fish or Dave Matthews. And uh, we don't smoke pot. We do crystal meth on stage. No, we don't. <laughs> Kidding. I make liquid crystal meth, which I snort from an Afrin bottle on stage. We're just we're in the middle of reading Hollywood Henderson's autobiography, so that's what he did. He was at Super Bowl ten. He's sitting on the sidelines. Wait, we're we're getting off track here. Oh, sorry. Shh. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I, I know that um, that Let's Go Smoke Some Pot was more of a, um, an Indian college radio hit, um, but Indian hit? no. no. It, Indie, yeah. oh, indie, indie, indie in college radio. Well, it was alternative radio mostly. I mean, like uh, Live 105 and K Rock down in LA. I mean, on the West Coast, it was a giant, like, alternative commercial radio hit. But in the South, yes, it was indie in college. All right, so uh, my, my question to you about that is uh, how have you guys uh, dealt or tried to distill the uh, the one hit wonder uh, label that some bands get like that? We we were lucky to have that one hit. I mean, we're just not a we're not a hit making band. You know, it's like we're like we're not I said. To dispel the myth. We're gonna okay. ride it until we can't ride it anymore. That's right. Is that um, the dead horse? Fly! Yeah, we're just we're uh, you know, the pot song was something we worked up on stage because we're we we try to have we try to be humorous on stage. We try to make things exciting. We don't stare at our toes and we're never depressed. Except uh, whenever the Saints, the New Orleans Saints, lose foot in their football games, then we get really depressed, and we and people mistake us for the Cure or REM. We get really Volt. depressed. Or Sun Volt. Yeah, we get really dismal, man. But anyway, we're yeah, we're we're a fun band, and we're a one hit wonder, and that's fine with us. We don't care. Okay, back to the uh, or to stick with the uh, the labels thing. Uh, now you guys play music from pretty much every genre. I mean, country, um, uh, rock. Funk, punk, everything. Punk. So, uh, so what do you guys actually label yourselves as? Because I've seen you guys labeled as tons of different things. Wow, I don't know. It's uh, lately, jazz. Wait, yeah, jazz. jazz. Okay. Really, lately it's been kind of poppy. So we call it a uh, country, country punk pop. How's that sound? That's good. Okay, there you go. I call it rock and roll pop with a country twist. Oh, you oh, be a okay. Kyle's gonna be a writer one day. I like to use words like genre and eponymous. And eclectic. 
All right, so we're right now. I'm gonna say thanks a lot to these guys, the uh, the eclectic, the eclectic <laughs> dash rep rock. Very much so. So uh, stick around for a live song coming up from these guys next on his ass. <laughs> 